Good morning, guys. Today is the big day where I um, I get my uh, my temporary teeth that I've been put in, and they're going to be swapped out for the final porcelain teeth that are going to be permanently in my mouth. Um, I guess they're gluing them in with some kind of permanent glue. Uh, for those of you that don't know, last week I um, yeah I had major dental work done, and uh, because of kind of really bad erosion in my teeth, all the enamel was gone, it's been causing me a lot of pain um, and dentists have been telling me for a while that um, there's nothing I can do so I ended up having to get some crowns and veneers to protect my teeth and yeah, today I've got like at least four hours in the chair just getting getting everything sorted so it's going to be crazy but if you haven't watched the, the other video first I'll link that below so you can see kind of uh, how we got to this stage. I'm a little bit late, got caught in traffic, so hopefully we're not too angry. Also good news guys, I forgot to tell you, I, uh, we, we hit the Kickstarter amount of £100,000 whilst I was sleeping. So JP did another live stream and uh, yeah, messaged me this morning, so, so excited. Thanks so much for supporting us and that. Who did this? No. No, 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 no. We just got a £1,000 pledge. <laughs> We hit it! We hit a hundred thousand pounds. How is this even happening right now? We just hit a hundred thousand pounds. Okay, I'm in the... What is this? The operating theatre? What's this called? This is the... Your office? <laughs> surgery, that's what they call it, but it's okay. really my So, um, these are of what have arrived today. They've been made in the laboratory, laboratory this they... week. Wow, so they're made of, made of porcelain, are they? Yeah, match porcelain. They are they bonded to your enamel, so it makes them hard as nails. They look this thin, but when, once they're bonded, they really become part of the teeth. And wow. That's why we try to keep it as minimally invasive. You can even yeah. see that it almost doesn't look like the tooth has changed at all. Yeah, so guys, this pink, this pink stuff is like an exact mold of my current teeth. And then... You can see how thin they are. Yeah. The normal, uh, traditional ones were much thicker. They were like many millimeter and a half. They even wow. had metal in them. The new ones... We make these days are extremely thin and it's called Emax crowns and it's a specific type of porcelain that's extremely hardy. Yeah. You almost take a hammer to them and it can't break. Wow, that is cool. Alright, round two. Let's do this. <laughs> These are how the teeth were prepared before. So these are just, just balanced in place. They were. But they're just like placed in position. I've only placed them in. They they stuck in with water. Yeah. Okay. So they they've got a they've got a they fit, the foot is so good that they actually fit in with normal suction. They looks they look so good. And if you look at the colour with the bottom ones, they you don't even see the difference. You you hardly see the difference. It looks so natural.
Right, we're gonna call it a day for today. It's quite a long session, like three and a half hours or something. But yeah, looking good. I'm gonna do, uh, yeah, wait till I'm, the numbness is worn off and see if I can feel it, it's all good. And then this is a night guard for me to, what, so I don't grind. Yeah, you just pop it in. Is it on the up? Okay, I'm just gonna give you a bit of a visual recap. This was a photo of my teeth before, and this is a trace of the porcelain teeth they needed to make. So there you go, close up. You can see my stubby front top teeth and the erosion on the back teeth at the bottom. And then this is my teeth now. As you can see, they've lengthened the top teeth and the back teeth are the right height to stop me grinding. And here they are side by side. As you can see, quite a massive difference and I am super happy with the result, guys. Now my teeth are looking good again. Thank you. So uh, Laura is heading back to the UK today and I wasn't sure whether I was gonna be done with my uh, dentistry stuff, so luckily I am and she hasn't left yet. I'm heading into the office. I'll carry it back to you, Laura. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Right, guys, I had to go back to the Airbnb, just have a little nap because it was an early morning and, uh, yeah, I think I've just been running myself. Uh, not much sleep and not much food, so I just need to rest up for a bit. But I've met up with Raya and we are heading to Signal Hill to watch the sunset. Have you been to Signal Hill before? No, I haven't. I have no idea what to expect. Oh. But it's, I need new Instagrams. It's so pretty hopefully. beautiful. <laughs> So those of you that have seen my previous Cape Down vlogs, you'll recognize this spot as where I've gone paragliding from before a couple of times. So we've wandered down away from the main kind of spot of Signal Hill. And there's this little footpath that just kind of meanders down. We could all go all the way down to there because then we'll have a clean shot of um, the lion's head. Yeah. This is great. Hey. How's it going, man? Good. Hey, Tristan, I love nice your vlogs. Nice ah, thank you. Uh, right, we found this little platform. No, 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 Attempted no, 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 to jump up there. Yeah, I've got to add a lot of sunscreen. I'm red, huh? Hey guys, it's a cool spot. Yeah. 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 Got a little time lapse going on. How beautiful is this sunset? Yeah. I love that you can see the city. <laughs> so beautiful. So whilst we were watching the sunset, I noticed we're in the last hour of the Kickstarter campaign. 26 minutes to go, and we've hit 110,000 pounds, 1,600 people backing it. This is incredible. So this whole Kickstarter thing's been a whole new experience for me. Um, it's not so much that it's been stressful, but I have felt kind of anxious, and I was just chatting to JP, and he feels the same. It's like 
until it's over and we've managed to raise the money, there's been this kind of just constant feeling of like, what if we don't hit it? What if we don't hit the target? What are we going to do? Because I guess we've got our hearts so set on the goal. So uh, I'm feeling super excited now. And uh, it's, yeah, in 25 minutes, it's time to celebrate. <sighs> so good, what a month. And this last week has been really intense, like doing the live streams and trying to pull in support from press and different brands and stuff, but we managed to do it. And uh, if you guys contributed and backed the project, then thank you so much. And you are not gonna be disappointed. We are gonna, we're gonna create something special. Guys, the backers are flying in. Six minutes to go and we've raised 111,458 pounds. Well, that jumped up so quick. So there's four minutes remaining. We're actually connected. The Kickstarter is going to end before we even get to where we're going, so this whole month has been leading up to this moment. <laughs> this is mad. I feel like JP might be asleep, you know. Oh, someone got one in. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, boom. Oh guys, I just, I feel great. It's a good sense of achievement, being able to hit a target, especially when it's like my first time trying to crowdsource something. Uh, yeah, I feel, I feel good. So we've had a chilled evening. It's nice to finally relax. Like I said, we've had a full on month, me and JP pushing for this Kickstarter. It's finally funded. Thanks again guys for anyone who contributed and supported us. It's gonna be an incredible movie and yeah, very soon we're gonna get well underway on all the kind of um, pre-production and planning everything and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty epic. And finally, I hope earlier in the vlog it wasn't too gruesome for you seeing the dental work I was getting done. Uh, it's it's feeling pretty good. Uh, I was wiped out at the beginning beginning of the day. It was really full on and um, yeah, it was it was weird kind of just coming around from the all the the local anesthetic I had but yeah it's uh it's already feeling kind of really natural and um I haven't had any problems eating today and I think it's just going to get better and better it's good to finally feel like I can eat properly without having crazy sensitivity and also feel like there's some longevity with my teeth now and I'm not worried about them just dissolving <laughs> and disintegrating like they were right Onto the weekend. Peace out. Enjoy life. Live the adventure. Boom.